Hello world, today I want to show you how to um, use containers under Linux. As I only learn by doing, I have set up a special challenge for this video, and that is that I want to set up a Linux desktop that can be accessed from Windows over the network. I will follow a tutorial here, and I will try to make as many mistakes as possible, so we learn how to correct them, and then I will do more than what's in the tutorial and um, improve um, the thing even more. We will be using the VNC protocol. It will look like this. Here you have um, a VNC viewer, virtual network connection viewer. And um, this is a complete Linux desktop that you control, that you can control graphically. And it's in the network and reachable for Windows computers as well. And you can use it just like a normal Linux desktop. And um, that is what we want to set up in this video. We will follow this uh, tutorial from Gustavo and uh, we will see if it's really that easy as it looks. As a first step, it says um, we shall do a MKDIR VNC Ubuntu. Okay, let's do this. We copy it and the first error we, we made, um, the dollar sign is just an indication that this is, um, uh, that this is a prompt and that, is to be, uh, that this is to be entered inside a console. Okay. So we copy this without the dollar sign, mkdvnc Ubuntu, and then cd into that directory. And um, here we are supposed to create a file that's called docker file. So I do a cat greater docker file, enter, and then I'm copying this here. And I type enter and control D to get out of this. Then we are supposed to create a file startvnc.sh. We do it the same way. Don't forget the control D at the end, nothing else, only control D. And now we are supposed to, um, to build this Docker image. And next mistake, we are not super user. In order to call Docker, we have to be super user. So I do su so I put sudo in front of it and it has been built. Next step is to um, run this image. This command will now run um, the Docker image and it will also um, advise the computer that ports 5901 till 5901 shall be redirected to this container. Ports 5901 is the first port for VNC. Okay, it has been started. So the container has been started. The VNC server inside of it has not yet been started. In order to do this, we need to we need to exec we need to execute bin bash so a shell inside our vnc ubuntu container okay let's try it we will now see a bash and as you can see um, i used to be on a computer called tweedleberg and now i am on a container called 896482 blah 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 my user id is root by the way and um here and here, I'm now supposed to start VNC using this command. Let's do it. And um, now we can see that the VNC server has started. Next thing is to put our VNC viewer to localhost call on 5901. VNC viewer. I have no idea what this guy is talking about. When I call VNC viewer for the first session of VNC, I say VNC viewer colon one. And that is exactly what I will do here. Password is password. And here we have it. This is now on, my another, on another screen of mine because it's too big to be displayed here. And this is the first thing that I want to correct now. So let's have a look at the Docker file. For this, we stop this VNC viewer using control Z. Then we send it to the background using the command VG. Now that thing will still continue to run, but in the background and we have the control over the console back. So what do I do? I take a look at the Docker file. <clears throat> yeah.
and we see that this guy is uh, starting from an official Ubuntu base, base image. Huh? We can change this to Ubuntu latest, which I would prefer. Um, then they're doing some settings. They are installing XFCE, which is the beautiful um, window manager that you saw. Um, they install type VNC server and some fonts and um, clean up and do a bit of cleanup, um, create the VNC directory and set the resolution 1920, which is a bit too much for us because our screen is a bit smaller. So we set it to 800 times 600. And um, this Docker file also says to expose port 5901 and um, copies then the um, copies then the start VNC files. Okay. Um, another mod another modification that I would like to do is I would like to introduce CMD here. CMD will be started quite at the beginning when this Docker container is um, started. If you remember correctly, it was not enough to start the Docker container. Afterwards, we had to execute bin bash inside the Docker container to finally start our VNC server using the command start VNC. This is something that I want to have run automatically whenever um, this thing starts. So we say cmd slash up slash start underscore start, sorry, start minus vnc.sh. And because of some bad experience in the past, I type an enter here in the end, and then um, I save it. And the big change that we have done is A, that we are um, using a smaller resolution. So um, the window should fit onto our screen. That B, we are automatically starting VNC on start of the container. And uh, C, we are using the latest Ubuntu um, package. Save, we save it. We um, build it again. We run it again. It uh, complains um, that it cannot be run because there is already um, the socket um, for the VNC server um, is already stopped. That was nonsense. Just forgot the sudo. Um, now it complains that it cannot run because there is already a container running. So we do a sudo docker ps to find out what's happening. Okay, then we see there is one container running. We, we do sudo docker kill with container name, container ID, sorry, enter. And um, now nothing speaks against running it again. And uh, the thing is running. Let's see if it is really running and if it has not stopped running. It's running and even port 5901 is open. So what do we do? We again call VNC viewer to have a look at this. And this time we do not have to go to bin bash in order to do any magic in order to get it started. It directly asks us for the password. Wrong password. The password is password was too easy. And here it has come up and it is smaller. It is 800 times 600 regarding resolution. We can still use it. We can still um, open a shell, run usual Linux commands like uptime, uname minus a to find out um, the kernel name. And we see it is a fully fledged Linux running inside the network. This is, of course, a cool way to try out Linux Mint, Rocky Linux, Ubuntu Linux, or whatever you like. Plus, um, it is um, possible to show this to your Windows colleagues, and it's even possible to use one session together so um, that you can learn from each other or do troubleshooting. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, leave me a comment. I'm always happy to read and answer them. Thank you.